All right, let's kind of roll right into the next one. We have uh, Project Scene Stitch is what it's called by Brian Price. Essentially, it will allow you to take any photo. You need to fix an area. It's going to fill it in automatically through Adobe Sensei. Brian, take it away. Welcome. Give him a warm right. welcome, everybody. All right, thank you. <laughs> So let's say I'm a designer, and my client asked me to find a photo with a river, kind of in a valley. So I find this photo here, and my client loves it, except she doesn't like the road in it. She really wanted it to be all natural, um, and so she asked if I can remove that. Well, what would you do in that case? So I'm sure what quite a few of you would think of doing is trying to use Content-Aware Fill that's in Photoshop. And so the way the Content-Aware Fill works is that you come in here and you select the area you want to remove. So here I'm going to get this road and the little hill leading up to it. Um, I'm using the quick select tool that's in Photoshop to do this, but you could use any selection that you want. Um, but then you run content to our fill, and you will get a result that looks like this. Oh. So at first glance, it looks pretty that's good. One. one thing about content to our fill is that um, you may notice that this patch right in here looks a lot like that patch right there which looks just like that patch there, which looks like this patch over here. And the reason that happens is because content to our fill, what it's doing is it's looking through this image and trying to find other content in other places of the image to put in the hole to make it look to fill it in. And sometimes this works like magic. But other times, you get these repeated patterns. And so you may need to go back and, and change those. So do we have another solution? Well, today, we're inter um, introducing Project Scene Stitch. So I click there to get it started. It takes a few seconds. But what this is going to do, instead of searching this image for content, it's going to use our Sensei machine learning methods to go search other images for content. Um, and namely, it's going to be searching um, Adobe Stock. And so just like that, we can go in and we can get a result that looks like this, for example. And so it pulled, it pulled this, this content from another image. Um, but we don't only get one result. We can get many results like this. And so you see here, as I'm clicking through, there's a lot of different results. Some are better than others. But just like that, automatically, we get multiple possibilities to fill this image. So let's try another one here. So in this case, we're going to do one that we just can't possibly do with content to worth fill. Um, we are going to look at replacing the entire park in the foreground here. So we'll get it started. Now, something like content to our fill, again, it often works like magic. But in this case, there's no content in the top of the image that it could possibly really use in the bottom of the image to do anything. Um, but running scene stitch, we can get something like this. Um, or like this. Or like this. <laughs> so, and you may notice this is doing more than just filling the hole in the image. This is really allowing you to reimagine the image, to try new things, to remix in new content. And it looks very different if you look at it you know, with this tennis court in the foreground versus you know, a riverside where the reflection doesn't quite match, <laughs> or a field, or this marsh area, um, and so on. So we removed a road. We removed this park. Let's try to scale it up and remove part of a city. Um, so in this case, you know, my client, maybe she really loves the skyline. This is of Denver. Um, but she's not a big fan of this neighborhood. Did anyone live in this neighborhood, by the way? It's like, that's probably like Wash Park. It's a great area. OK, well, it's about to be, get a remodel. Um, so we're going to run Scene Stitch. Now, again, remember, this is searching Adobe Stock. And you know, what did they say yesterday? Didn't they say it has like 100 million images in it now? So we have access to all of that content. Um, and we're doing this matching not just by looking at pixels, but looking at the semantics. And because of that, we can get a result that looks kind of like this, you know, or like this. Um, go through a few of these. Whoa. So you can see a lot of these will work really well. Some aren't quite as good. You know, you might not want to use this one in particular. You know, but some of these others are pretty much ready to go. And so with our scene stitch technology, it allows you not only to just fill these big holes in the image, but really to go and reinvent your image. So whether you want to just fill a large hole or you really wished Denver had a beach, <laughs> scene stitch can make it quick and easy for you. Thanks. Oh.
So this is typically what we have to do as designers is take photos from other places, and this is like our job, and it's like he's just hitting this magic button. So thank you so much, Brian. Mm -hmm. awesome. Thank you. You're putting so many people out of work. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we're making it quicker for them to do their yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fantastic. Wow. So if I'm like, so if someone's like married to someone, can you in pictures replace that person with the one that got away? Well, yes. I mean, at the moment, it's looking at actually we would probably replace them with the background, so they would just be lonely. That's fine. But you know, we <laughs> that, all right. We actually have done it where we can look at the content in the whole and try to match the, semant the content semantically, which would mean it would pull in other people, and then you'd have a selection to look at. Great. <laughs> wow. Good man. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Good answer. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brian. Thanks.